I'm Archbishop Mark Coleridge and you are watching Q&A, question and answer for the Catholic leader. There's no doubt that Catholic schools have changed quite dramatically in recent times and that change will continue into the future. Originally our schools in Australia, which are one, one of our greatest achievements I think, they were founded to teach Catholic children. They were really part of the Catholic tribe or tribal Catholicism. They were Catholic schools for Catholic children at a time when the government was proposing free, compulsory and secular education in Australia. The Catholic bishops were very keen on, on compulsory, even more keen on free, <laughs> but they were not at all keen on secular at, because they found it one dimensional. So Catholic schools were established to teach Catholics and to teach the whole person, not just part of the person, and hold the whole person for, for us was and is that sense of the human person opening onto God, opening onto the transcendent. In other words, the spiritual is an essential part. The religious is an essential part of what it means to be human. So in the end, Catholic schools were established to offer a full education to the full human person. Now that remains true of them, but in the meantime, tribal Catholicism has gone the way of all flesh, and our schools have within them now many children who are, who are not Catholic, for instance, and even among those who are Catholic, baptised, many of them would not come from families who are practising the faith. So in that sense, our schools have become a different sort of phenomenon than they were in the past. However, for all the changes, some things endure. And one of the things that endures is precisely to offer that full and comprehensive education to the full person. And in the end, the full person is to be taught the art of what it means to be human. We teach a lot of things in our schools, and we have to, to equip the young for all kinds of things in human life. But at the heart of everything we do, and this is why Catholic schools remain as important now as they ever were, particularly in a pluralist society like ours, what we do at the heart of everything in our schools is we teach that great art of being a human being. I used to think that was easy. I now think it's not easy, in fact I think it's the great art and it, ta it takes a whole life to learn it. But the learning must begin in our schools. What it really be means to be a human being, it doesn't happen automatically. It has to be learned. What happens automatically is that the heart of flesh turns to a heart of stone and we kind of lined up, line up among the living dead. But to be really human in the deepest and fullest sense, that's what our schools seek to teach. And in the end, that's why in our schools there's only one teacher, and that's Jesus Christ crucified and risen, because what we see in him is the fullness of what it means to be a human being, so full in fact that he is God in our midst. So Jesus Christ is the only teacher of the great art of what it means to be fully human. And in offering that kind of education to our young people, Catholic schools have a unique and precious role to play even in a pluralist society like ours.